So number one then from the 2016 Advanced Higher Maths, there we go. Standard sort of differentiation question, but eight marks to kick this off this time. Three parts. Part A. Now, for three marks, differentiate this. Well, dy by dx equals, and it's a product. So it's just the case of differentiate one, leave the other, switch over. So differentiating the x is just one, leave the inverse tan of 2x alone, x has had its turn, now differentiate inverse tan of 2x, so that'll be 1 over 1 plus whatever it's operating on squared, so 1 plus the 2x squared, multiplied by the derivative of that inner function, which is times 2. Now there were three marks for part A, and that's virtually it's done, and the way that the marks were allocated were, there was one mark for knowing to use the product rule, but not actually doing any of the differentiations yet. So one mark for knowing to use the product rule, which basically means you've got it in the two parts. Next mark was for differentiating one of the terms. So let's give it to this one here. And the final mark was for differentiating the other term and tidying it up. So we'll tidy it up first. So that means we've just got inverse tan of 2x plus 2x over, and that'll be 1 plus 4x squared. And there's the third mark. So part B, again for three marks, differentiate this. Now this time you've got a quotient. You could turn it back into a product if you like by taking the denominator and putting it on top to power negative 1, but as well just leaving it as a quotient. So Differentiate that using the quotient rule, which is square the denominator. 1 plus 4x squared, all squared. And then it's just the same as the product rule, of course. Differentiate one, leave the other, switch over. So differentiate this, negative 2x, leave that alone. 1 plus 4x squared, minus, because after all that was underneath power negative 1, minus, now leave that alone, negative 1 plus 1 minus x squared, differentiate that now, which is just going to be 8x. Now, the way the marks were split up this time was, there was one mark for using the quotient rule and differentiating one of the terms, so it'd probably just be the first one you did, so the first mark would appear there. The second mark was for then differentiating the other term, so the second mark appears there. Then the last mark is just for tidying up, because after all, in the first one it just said differentiate, and technically it said in the marking scheme, if you just left it as this underneath, 2x all squared, you would still have got this third mark. But here it specifically says, simplify your answer, so you'll need to tidy this one up. You should tidy that one up anyway. It's just good manners. So, what have we got here then? So the denominator then is this. And for the numerator, I know there's a common factor of x you could take out, but it's probably not worth it here. Just multiply it out. So it's negative 2x and minus 8x cubed, minus 8x, and then minus minus is plus 8x cubed. So tidying it up, x cubed terms disappear. This comes to negative 10x. So I'll put the 10x over the 1 plus 4x squared, all squared. And then the negative can either stay with the 10 or just join the whole fraction. And that's the third mark. Now part C. A curve's given by these two parametric equations. Find dy by dx in terms of t. Now this is only two marks. So these should be sparser than the previous ones. We've only got two marks left. Well, the first thing would be you can only differentiate it with respect to what it's got here. So you'd have to do dx by dt, which is just 6. And dy by dt, which is going to be the derivative, would be negative. But I've got negative already, so that's going to be sine t. Now, getting both of those correct gives you the first mark. So when it says what's dy by dx, well, I'll have to do dy by dt, it's the chain rule, and then dt by dx... So that means it's going to be dy by dt, which is sine t. Now dt by dx is the reciprocal of that, so it'll be times 1 upon 6. Or I could just write it neatly again. dy by dx equals 1 sixth of sine t. 
And that's the second mark for that part and the eighth mark altogether. And what's this? It's a wee anagram for those of you that got bored watching that. <laughs>